Ladies and gentlemen, today we're making pasta, but these noodles are made out of Nutella. For too long, spaghetti has been for dinner. Now it's for dessert. No flour, just sugar, water, Nutella, and a little something called agar agar. Before you say, oh no, it's a powder, it's a chemical, this is actually a seaweed derivative. It's often known as vegetarian gelatin, because vegetarians and vegans usually don't like to use gelatin because it's an animal byproduct. This is actually made from seaweeds and it's actually used in a lot of kitchens to thicken things and act as a gelatin. So first thing we're gonna do is we gotta hydrate the agar. It's about a cup and a half of water, a heaping tablespoon of agar if you wanna be exact, uh, it's around 6.25 grams, and we're gonna put that in there. Now what we wanna do is when people are doing agar preparations. You have to put it in water, you have to dissolve it, you gotta whisk it, and then you gotta bring it up to a boil. Unlike gelatin, where you just gotta warm it, this you actually wanna boil it so it actually comes to life. So I'm just gonna whisk this agar, no clumps, and I wanna bring it to a light boil. We're just using the gelatin effect to make dessert pasta. So it's boiling now. That means it's active and we're just gonna dissolve this sugar in that mix and I'm gonna drop the Nutella in there. This is about 340 grams of Nutella. I'm gonna whisk it in there while it's still warm. Now, you gotta work a little fast on this because it's, this agar is very powerful. So as soon as it starts to cool, it's gonna gel. This is a Silpat, which is a nonstick baking mat. If you don't have one of these, you can just get a sheet pan and put plastic wrap down on it. I'm just gonna dump this on the mat and I'm gonna use the squareness as kind of a guide. The goal here is to kind of just try to get an even layer as possible. See this part right here on the corner that was uh, laid down first? That's already setting. See that, how I'm kind of moving it with my finger? As soon as it starts to cool, this is gonna set. So you don't have to wait a very long time. You just pop this in your fridge, you'll know. It'll feel like a very firm jello when it's ready. But I don't even want you to wait the 10 minutes, so I'm gonna jam this in. I'm gonna pull out my less perfect one that I did earlier. So look at this. See that texture right there? That's your noodle. And you're just gonna run these with a knife. I don't wanna put a lot of pressure on this knife going in here because I don't wanna cut through my mat. I'm gonna make them kind of thick. Let's make it kind of like a popper dough. And look, that is a Nutella pasta noodle. Want a lady in the tramp it with me? Hey, who? 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 No. Heat does have a little bit of an effect on this. If, um, if it hits heat again pretty hard, they will start to melt. But it is pretty resilient and holding against temperature. How do you feel about that? Look at this. That is chocolate and hazelnut noodles. But we're not stopping there. We gotta get tomato sauce on top. All I did was take some strawberries and blend them. Like, that's it. Sometimes like people wanna put a jam or that on top. I didn't wanna do that. I just wanted to use straight fresh strawberries because listen, you already have the residual sugar in the Nutella. Um, and you also have the extra sugar that we added in. So I don't wanna compound that, right? I don't wanna get it too sweet. I wanna have a nice balance of sweetness, a little bit of tart and that. So I just blended strawberries, that's it. And it, must, it looks like marinara. Lay it on top, that thickness is gonna sit beautifully. What do we do when we have a little bit of, uh, when we have a little bit of pasta? You know, the guy comes over, he wants some Parmesan cheese, he goes pa 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 Well, what looks like Parmesan cheese? Boom! Shredded coconut. <laughs> it looks like <laughs> cheese. This is so ridiculous. Let's lean into the cheesiness of how to plate this dish. So I'm gonna take the top of a mint, and I'm gonna put it just like that. So here you go. This is Nutella noodles with strawberry sauce and coconut as parm. That's it, super easy. This one is the easy one. If you like desserts that look like entrees and more eye trickery, click here. And they gave me pizza dough with some eggs and holidays on top. And I was like, this is not an Eggs Benedict pizza. Why is there not a giant English muffin? Missed opportunity.